this is a lot later in the day, so it's probably going on maybe by like 1 a.m. or something. Um, it's probably when we finally upload. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna talk about testosterone injections. So these are one of my older bottles. So like I've already used two of them. In each of these little bottles, um, there's 200 milligrams. And since I was taking half, I used up two really pretty quickly. Um, in about a month. In about a month, I used like two of them. Yeah. Or at least one per month. Anyway, so I got a lot more this time since I'm doing zero, I'm doing 30 milligrams per, and then it has a different bottle. I guess I just redid them. Um, in the old bottles, on the old bottles, on the top of them, as you can see, the bottles are really tiny, and then this is the seal, um, and you just normally pop this off and everything before you get started. Um, and, yeah, but on the old ones, this was green, so that was the only thing. And then also inside, they have your warnings about testosterone and everything. And then they also give you that paper whenever you, um, whenever you get it out of the pharmacy. So just to make sure you know what you're getting when you're getting your medication. They always have the warning and everything with it. Um, besides, you've also probably talked to your doctor, so you know what you want, um, and everything like that. We already talked about how I don't like my face, so I'm wearing a mask. Anyway, um, I believe I'm filming this at 9, almost 10 p.m. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you real quick with these empty ones. Um, how you would give yourself a shot. So, this is how it looks without the cap on it. As you can see, there's the little sponge of um, gray right there. That's where you stick the needle through. And then, you would have your needles, obviously. You want the syringe, and then this is the needle you use to take it from the bottle, and this is the one you use to put it inside you. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than this one, and it's a lot smaller than the when you go to get a shot and um, when you're getting your blood drawn. So if you're scared of needles, you don't really have to be scared of this, because it's really tiny. Plus, it really doesn't really hurt or anything. So I'm going to show you what I do um, just with my arm. Because you normally actually do it in your thigh. And you would actually have medicine in it. But I don't need my shot right now. So, yeah. So you have these little alcohol pads. You can just buy them at Walmart or whatever. And usually, um, they also have a demonstration video. Um at the hospital and everything, their official video about how to do this. If it's your first time, just watch that once or twice and you're good. Yeah, so normally you'd undo this, and then you would use it to wipe off the top of this. Um, and let's show you how I do this. And then you want a little bit of air here you want a little bit of air to start out and normally you would have all the lines down but this has been used and everything it's a pretty old one so you can't so the lines faded on it that's why you have to get new ones anyway so you just go inside and then you can see You don't want it too far in. You want it like there or so. I guess you can't really see it that well. There. There you go. 
you pull it down, pull it up, and then you pull some out normally until your little measure is full. And you probably flick it to get the air out. If you have a little bit of air in it, it's no problem. And then, um, and then you pull it out. And then you cap this guy because you're going to switch it to the other needle. So you just set it on, snap this on. And also to make sure that this reseals um, after you pop it, because there's that little hole in it now, you just take this and go over it. And it closes right up. And you also use it to clean the area that you're going to inject to. Yeah, switch to the smaller needle. You can see how much tinier it is. And then what you do is you find your area. You find the area you're going to inject it to. And then you come on, go inside. And you make sure the needle's all the way down inside. And then you push down. All the way. If the air gets in there, it's not a problem because you're not injecting it into your veins. Your veins aren't involved, so it doesn't matter. After you're done injecting it, there's nothing in here, so I won't actually I guess I'll push it down. And then you pull it out. You wipe it away. And then you put a band-aid on it, or you just move it around. Or you pinch the area before, so no blood comes out. There's like a little bit of blood, just like a dot. So you can see, it's so normally you get a band-aid, or you just wipe it off to clear the area with the little alcohol wipe. And then you steal it again, and then you rotate it. And then, um, normally, if, these, if you have a lot of needles, you throw them away after you use them. Um, let me see. I have this little yogurt container, this little flap on it, that's where I usually put them. But since I reuse these, and it's not a big deal, you can reuse, especially these ones, because they don't go in your skin. You can reuse these all the time, because they just touch the medicine. And then you can reuse these, because it's your blood, and, um, and it's just testosterone in your blood, and another blood gets on the needle, or in the needle, so it's not contaminated or anything. Uh, it's only you are being using it, so it's not a big deal. So, that is all I have on testosterone shots. Um, there are other ways to take testosterone. Um, you can use, um, they have like cream or whatever that you just apply to your skin. And then they have like pills. And other methods that they can talk to you about and tell you all about. So anyway, um, I'm going to get my shot Tuesday. I'm going to take it. It only takes like maybe 15 minutes or whatever. Just take some time out of your day and you're good. Um, so I put this back inside my little baggie. Like this. And then put this bottle back into the little box. And voila, you're done. You know what, in this video took like 9 or 10 minutes. Yeah. And it will take a little bit longer just because if it's your first time. I decided that you should be good. And that is all I have for the video today. As always, thank you for watching. You can like or subscribe, or move on to a different video if you don't like it. Or leave a comment. Don't mind. Don't care. Thank you. Bye.